I see what all the commotion's about. This is a delicious food. Seattle is a food city. Today we want to share the five essential foods and local delicacies you need to try when visiting Seattle. Let's dive in. The first Seattle food you need to try is the Seattle Dog. While nobody knows who actually invented the Seattle Dog, it started showing up in late night food carts during the grunge movement of the 90s and has evolved into one of the city's most iconic foods. Thank you. Thank you man. Seattle Thank you. So we are very excited to try out these Seattle dogs. This was one of the things that we definitely wanted to try in Seattle. They're a little bit bizarre because in order to make it a Seattle dog, it's supposed to have cream cheese and caramelized vegetables on a hot dog, which is kind of bizarre. I grew up in Chicago, so I'm very used to the classic quintessential Chicago hot dog where it's sacrilegious to put ketchup on it. So I'm really intrigued to see how these hold up. I feel like every city has their own little flair on the, the hot dog, mm -hmm. and these look like they're gonna live up to the standard. So yeah. I'm really excited. I'm ravenous right now. Yeah. Should we dive in? Sure. All right, first bite, here we go. Mm. So they split the hot dog in half, doubles the flavor, hopefully. Mm. Oh man. It's definitely the hot dog. You get that natural grilled taste, so there's a little smokiness to it. And I haven't gotten a good cream cheese bite, but we'll get there in one more. Let's give it another go. Yeah, that's what I'm most curious about. Mm. That's amazing. Definitely got a cream cheese bite. It really blends really well with the hot dog, and actually, they pair really well together. I guess the bun is almost like a bagel in a way, so it kind of makes sense to have cream cheese and the bun together. Yeah, it's, it's really satisfying. You gotta try it. Are you missing your mustard at all? No, not at all, actually. It's, it's a very savory meal. It's delicious. And I guess because there's veggies, it must be healthy, right? All right, I'm gonna go in now. Mm. Yeah, I haven't gotten a good cream cheese bite yet, but the veggies on there are delicious. I'm a sucker for anything caramelized, so this is right up my alley. That's really good. Better than a Costco hot dog, dare I say. That's a big accomplishment. I know, that's one of my favorites, but I'm loving these grilled veggies on there. That's really good. Mm. 10 out of 10. One thing I just wanna to say too is, there's something about eating a hot dog outside. Street food's meant to be eaten on the street. So being able to enjoy it in this beautiful park on a beautiful sunny day in Seattle, really icing on the cake of a beautiful meal. Yeah, it's kind of funny because the, the place is called Dog in the Park too, and we are quite literally eating a dog in the park, <laughs> which is really nice. Maybe this is lame of me to say, but I think this might be the best thing we've had on our Seattle trip so far. It is so good. The, the grilled veggies are like right up my alley and the cream cheese bites are super savory. So we're really enjoying this. It's a pretty expensive hot dog. It's $7 for this, but I think it's totally worth it. The um, grilled veggies actually remind me of Halushki, which is like a buttery cabbage noodle dish. It kind of has the same taste as that buttery cabbage in Holushki, which I absolutely adore. So we are enjoying these so much. The second iconic Seattle food you need to try is Beecher's Cheese. Located in Seattle's famous Pike Place Market, this corner shop restaurant actually makes the world famous cheese right in front of you while you eat. So one of the places we were told that we have to try in Seattle is Beecher's Homemade Cheese, which is right behind us. And we heard they have the best mac and cheese, not in the state, but in the world. So yeah. let's see. Yeah, we'll we're see if it lives up. The test. Anything else for you? No, that'll be it. We just got some mac and cheese to go. So we're trying to find a spot with a view of the ocean so we can eat it. We found somewhere to eat our mac and cheese. We're really excited. Took it down by the waterfront. Yeah, not too shabby of a view for mac and cheese. Yeah, it might be the, the most scenic view I've ever had when eating mac and cheese. And let me preface this where I eat Kraft mac and cheese and I think it's good. So I'm really eager to see how this goes better. Mm. So how's it compared to Kraft? Um, I would say it's better. 
I'd hope so. <laughs> you taste the cheese way more than you taste the noodle. It's like solid cheese in there. It's pretty good. Cheddar almost... or is it more creamy than um, Velveeta? Yeah, it's more cheddar-y, like solid cheese chunks mm. in the mac and cheese. It's really good. My first bite now. Oh wow. I see what you mean. It's it's like a punch of cheese. It's like I feel like normal mac and cheese, you taste the pasta. Yeah. And this one is you taste the cheese it's and the just pasta. Like you're eating you're cheese. eating cheese. The pasta is an afterthought. Pasta. The pasta is just a delivery mechanism for the cheese. Yep. Mmm. That's so good. Mm. I ate a lot of Walmart shorted cheese. So this is uh, leaps and bounds better than that. The last bite, huh? Oh yeah, gotta get all that cheese out. It's the good stuff. Mm. Mm. I miss it already. <laughs> And while you're at Pike Place, the third local food you need to try is Proshki Proshki. Founded in 1992, this Russian bakery has been a Seattle staple for years. A Proshki is basically Russian for hand pie, and they have a tremendous selection of both sweet and savory pies and bakery goods to choose from. Wow. 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 We have our Proshki Proshki or Proshki Proshki. Let's see what we got. Ooh. So they have little packages inside the packages. They look like, ooh, they're still warm. Oh, they're still really warm. This one looks like the potato and cheese. I think that's the and cheese thing. Oh man, that's phenomenal. Is it good? Oh my God, it's, it's buttery, it's creamy. It's cheesy, and the meat is savory. That is unbelievable. That might be the best pastry I've ever had. So that's the beef one? This is the beef one, yes. Wow, that's really good. I see what all the commotion's about. This is a delicious food. Yeah, there was probably 40 or so people in front of us in line, but the line went really quick. Yeah, the line went crazy fast. It was really nice. The other one we got is potato and cheese, which I think should be this one. Mm. Oh my gosh, that bread is amazing. When we were um, reading up on this place, apparently they tried selling a bunch of pierogies without cheese at one point, and then they realized Americans love cheese so much, so they just started to use their original recipes but throw cheese on everything, and they said the sales skyrocketed, which makes sense. It's delicious cheese. Mmm, that is really good. This is the potato and cheese one, and it's almost sweet. The potatoes are actually on the inside here. But the bread is buttery. It's got a sweetness to it, which really complements the hardiness of the potatoes. And with it being just a little bit warm, it is so good. Mm. That's phenomenal. The potato one is really weird. I don't think I've ever tasted potatoes in bread before. It's kind of like a carb on carb type of meal and I'm absolutely here for it. This might be the saddest thing all day. We're down to our last two bites. So I have the scraps of potato and the scraps of beef. I think we'll end with the beef. I liked it a little bit more. Um, Cordy is right. The carb on carb of potatoes in bread is perfect. So um, final bite. Mm. Carbs on carbs on cheese. Carbs on carbs on cheese. What more can you ask for? And now, the last but not least, the last one here. Yeah. End of an era. That was really good. The fourth Seattle food you need to try is Pike Place Chowder. Founded in 2003 and located in Pike Place Market, this soup is perfect for those rainy Seattle days and constantly has a line out the door. There is a second location five minutes up the road at Pacific Place Center, serving the same delicious chowders without the line. We're not really sure which one is which here, but we got the sampler, which includes the original New England style chowder, which we think is this one. We think this one is the Manhattan style chowder. And one of these is seafood bisque. And I think the other one is a market chowder. So let's try it out. Oh man, that's really good. I have been waiting to try this for a long time. I think this must be seafood. It is so creamy. It's amazing. You gotta try this, Michael. 
Oh man. I know. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's so good. I'm gonna go for the original New England Charter. Okay. It's so good. Here. It tastes so much fresher than the Progresso clam chowder <laughs> that I have in a can. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that was good. It's got a little spice to it, almost smoky. Mm. It's definitely some crab in it. Yeah, so I think this one's definitely the seafood medley. Mm. That's really good. I almost don't get how Campbell's can get away with selling what they call chowder, having tasted this now. This is phenomenal. It's real creamy, like it's, it's, it's thick. It's not like a, like a runny soup. Every bite is just solidified. It's really good. The fifth food you need to try when visiting Seattle is Dick's Drive-In. Founded in 1954, this Seattle-only burger joint has eight locations around the city, is open late, and is adored by locals and travelers alike. We have uh, two deluxes, two fries, and one chocolate shake, please. We just got our Dick's Burgers. Very excited to eat these. There doesn't seem to be any seating here, so I think we're just gonna go home and eat it there. I'm gonna drive so fast, I'm so hungry. <laughs> but Courtney's making me correct myself. We're gonna drive fast, but safely. Yes. And we're gonna eat these burgers. So we had a very long day running around all of Seattle and we are very hungry. So we're ready to try out these burgers. Yeah, and we have them right here and I can already tell they're gonna be good because the universal sign of a good burger is grease coming through the bag. So I think it's gonna be pretty tasty. Yep. So you wanna give me a burger and I'll get my fries? Yep, so we got the Deluxe Burger, which seems to be what most of the locals were getting. Dix is interesting because Dix charges you for condiments. So your ketchup, your mustard, they even had tartar sauce on the menu. So we didn't get any condiments because we thought we had some back home. We don't have any tartar sauce, but we do have some ranch dressing, which we hopefully will be able to replace the tartar sauce with. But let's see what we're working with here. Looks pretty good. It's a good looking burger. That's a good looking burger. Burger cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. What's that sauce? I have no idea. It's got almost a tangy taste to it. It's actually never had on a Is burger. Is it a relish sauce? It might be relish. It's like a relish mayonnaise almost. Mmm, that is good. I guess I should probably wash it down with a milkshake. Oh, I got a chocolate shake here. See how it is? That's a chocolate shake. I don't know what I compare it to, but it's a good shake. You want to sip? So I feel like every part of the country has their own quintessential fast food place. You have In-N-Out Burger, you have Wada Burger, you have Culver's if you're from the Midwest. I think the Dick's Burger might be Seattle's version of that, and I think it holds its own pretty well. We had In-N-Out a couple months ago, and uh, this is definitely different, but it's definitely good. And we each got a serving of fries, and they're pretty good. They're very potato-y, shoestring fries, and I definitely like it whenever you can actually tell a fry is a potato, so mm. sounds good to me. Do you know any great Seattle foods we missed? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're new here and want to see more adventures from us, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.